In this lesson, we define slope as tangent of the angle which the given straight line makes with x-axis and then we will relate that definition of slope to the two-point definition of slope. Let's get started. Here we have a straight line L. Let's name it as L. Now the given straight line, given straight line, straight line L makes an angle, makes an angle alpha with x axis with x axis and has has two points two points a with coordinates x1 and y1 and B with coordinates x2 and y2. So suppose that this point here is A and its coordinates are x1 and y1. And there is another point B here which has coordinates x2 and y2. Then this distance is obviously x2 because it's abscissa of the point B and this distance from this point to the horizontal axis this is y1 uh, y2 and this is Similarly, this is y1 and this is x1, x1. So if we name these points A and B and then we complete a triangle, let's name it as M and name it as T and name this point as M. Using these naming, naming conventions we will find the value for BM. BM is in fact equal to the height BN BN minus MN MN BN is the height of B from x-axis so this is given this is y2 minus mn which is equivalent in length to at because at is just the opposite side of the rectangle and at is equal to y1 so this would be equal to y2 minus y1 therefore this height here for this triangle, this height would be y2 minus y1 and we can just write this as side of the triangle AMB. And for the same reason, the length from here to here, this is abscissa for point A and this is x1. 1 and the abscissa for B is x2 so this should be the equivalent length of x2. Now this leaves us this length which is x2 minus x1 that is this Tn and same is this one this is x2 minus x1 if we label it as side of the length of this triangle a b m 
and as given that this angle here is alpha if this is angle alpha then this angle is alpha as well we have previously learned that slope if slope of line if slope of line passing through passing through a b through a x1 y1 and point b which is x2 y2 if slope of line passing through these two points is m then m should be equal to then m is equal to rise over run so that is equal to the opposite of triangle which is bm over am bm over am this is equal to y2 y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 because this is y2 minus y1 is rise and x2 minus x1 is run but if we but from triangle a b and m what is definition of the tan theta or tan alpha tan alpha is equal to opposite over base opposite over base that's definition of tan so tan alpha should be equal to is equal to bm over am bm that is equal to bm over am and this is bm is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 if we compare both of these values from 1 as well as from this 2 comparing 1 and 2 we, let's write this as tan alpha so comparing 1 and 2 comparing 1 and 2 we have we have m is equal to tan alpha it means that if we take tangent of the angle which the straight line makes with x axis that gives us tangent alpha so now let's do the question number one here whatever is given that is find slope of the line making an angle of 60 degree with the positive x axis it means that alpha is given now as 60 degree now when given that given that alpha is equal to 60 degree therefore slope would be equal to m is equal to tan alpha and which is equal to tan of 60 degree and tan 60 degree is equal to under root 3 so this would be equal to under root 3 this is how we get slope of the line L which makes an angle 60 degree with positive x axis now we want to find slope of the line passing through passing uh, 
slope of the line bisecting first and third quadrant. So the line which is bisecting first and the third quadrant is in fact equal to is y equal to x and it makes an angle of 45 degree. So the second question line bisecting first and third quadrant third quadrant must make an angle of must make an angle of 45 degree because the total angle in first quadrant is 90 degrees so if the line has to bisect it divide first quadrant into two equal parts then obviously it must make an angle of 45 degree with positive x-axis. The line bisecting first and third quadrant must make an angle of 45 degree with x-axis with x-axis so alpha is given equal to 45 degree in this case and here tan alpha will be equal to 40, uh, for tan of 45 degree tan of 45 degrees which is in fact equal to m so the slope m is equal to tan of 45 degree which is 1 therefore the line which bisects first and third quadrant has slope equal to 1 and for the same reason if somebody would ask slope of the line bisecting second and fourth quadrant that must make an angle of 135 degree with positive x-axis and should give you the slope of minus 1.